we're going to be looking at electromotive force, that is EMF, and internal resistance of a cell. A voltage supply has internal resistance, which we give by the symbol little r. And what we mean by voltage supply, that is a cell, a battery of cells, or a power supply. So we can represent this by having a resistor symbol next to the symbol for the cell or power supply. And the resistor we will label as little r for the internal resistance. And we say our cell has an electromotive force, an EMF, given by symbol E. And that is representing the voltage across the power supply or cell. If we now connect our cell to a load resistor given by the symbol capital R, the voltage across the load resistor will not equal the EMF due to some of the voltage being lost inside the cell due to internal resistance. We can express this mathematically with this equation, where V is known as our terminal PD, our output voltage from the cell, which is then the voltage across our load resistor. And that is equal to the EMF of our cell, that is the total voltage supplied by the cell, minus the voltage lost inside the cell due to internal resistance. If you remember, voltage equals current times resistance. So the voltage lost due to internal resistance will equal the current times by the internal resistance. And how we define EMF is that it's the electrical energy gained per unit charge as the charge moves through the voltage supply. For a cell or battery, the electrical energy gained is coming from the transformation of chemical energy. The definition of the terminal PD or our output voltage is it's the electrical energy lost per unit charge as the charge moves through the external circuit. If the external circuit is a resistor, then the electrical energy is transferred into heat energy. And I times little r is representing the electrical energy lost per unit charge as the charge moves through the internal circuit of the cell. So it's representing the voltage loss due to the internal resistance. And because of resistance, the electrical energy is transferred into heat energy. So when will our output voltage equal the EMF of our cell? Well, V will equal E either when R is zero, so we can neglect the internal resistance of our cell, or, where, or if we do have internal resistance, it's when the current I is zero. If we connect our cell to a load resistor and we increase the value of our load resistance, what effect would it have on the circuit? Increasing the resistance would decrease the current in the circuit. Decreasing the current in the circuit will also decrease the voltage loss due to internal resistance and here we'll assume that the internal resistance is a constant for a voltage supply. We'll also assume that the EMF of the voltage supply is constant. So if the EMF is constant and the voltage loss due to internal resistance decreases then that means our output voltage, our terminal PD will increase. So increasing the load resistance will decrease the current in the circuit, but it would increase the voltage across the load resistor. And it's all because the 
voltage supply has an internal resistance and so some of the voltage is lost inside there. It's important to remember that if the internal resistance is negligible, so approximately zero, we can ignore it and so the output voltage will always equal our EMF irrespective of the load resistance. If we were to plot a graph of the output voltage against the current in the circuit, well if there was no internal resistance then V will always equal our EMF. However, because of internal resistance, the graph would look like this. It's a straight line with a positive Y intercept and a negative gradient. And that is if we compare the equation for terminal PD or output voltage with the equation of a straight line, which is Y equals mx plus c we can see then our y along our y axis is our voltage v along our x axis is our current i so therefore the y intercept will equal our emf and the gradient will equal minus the internal resistance it's important to note here that the gradient is negative so when you put in the negative value of the gradient into this equation that will give you a positive value for the internal resistance you can see then there's a maximum current that can be drawn from the voltage supply and that occurs when the terminal PD or our output voltage is equal to zero. So V equals zero. We can rearrange this equation to make I the subject. So that will tell us then that I max will equal our EMF divided by the internal resistance. If we rearrange this equation to make the EMF the subject, then we can say our EMF, which is the total voltage from the power supply, is equal to our terminal PD, our output voltage, plus I times the internal resistance, which is the voltage lost due to internal resistance, so the internal PD of the cell. If the cell is connected to a load resistor R, then the output voltage, the terminal PD, will equal the current times the load resistance. So if we substitute for our terminal PD to our equation for EMF, we get this. And the equation for EMF simplifies to this. This is also showing you how you can get the total current in the circuit. So current equals voltage divided by resistance. So our current will equal our total voltage in the circuit, which is our EMF, divided by the total resistance in the circuit, which will be our load resistance plus our internal resistance.